All right, so let's go ahead and go to the first frame on the stage, back to this. I hit F9 again, that pauses recording. Okay, but F9 is supposed to open this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in case back. So anytime there's a back button, it's going to switch our menu to main menu. Just like this, add a break, go ahead and save it. I'm gonna test this with skill form launcher. And now this will open up, you can click settings. There we go. And I'm gonna hit back and I'll do that. And now we need to create a wrapper function so that we can uh, we can give Flash the initial resolution. That way the settings manager knows what's up before our player does anything. So first we have to create a wrapper function for action for Unreal Script to call. And that's already being called and it's called set resolution by string. Ah. And we want to call that new res string just because if I, I want to. And this is actually a void. I'm going to put void at the end because it returns nothing. Then I'm going to do settings manager. This has another member function called set resolution by string. Same one thing we just created. This, this is just a wrapper function, so action script has something to call. And now we can. That's good. Now we need to tell action script to send us all our settings. And that's done by going. How is that done? Oh, oh yeah, we need to make another external interface call. And that's external interface call and go set up settings. It takes no parameters. There we go. Uh, that tells the uh, the four course movie class to set up the settings. Go ahead and test. You see our call is there. You hit new game. Oh, it tries to open DM deck. Hit settings. That's everything's good. So this is the menu. Resolution is able to change. Right now it's not defaulting to a resolution because there's no Unreal script telling what resolution that is. Then we can hit back and then we can hit exit and that's not doing anything so let's go ahead and rig that up. So I'm going to put that up to settings case exit and that's just going to be another external external interface dot call. It's just going to be flash to console and this is going to be clip. Quits our game. Pretty simple right? Add a break. Go ahead and test this. And now we have uh, we have our menu fully functional exit exits call call method invalid object I spelled this wrong okay let's go back save this and now we have new game tries to open new game settings opens the settings that we already been through that exit quits good we are good to go now we need the cursor go ahead and I'm gonna import a picture I got going on import to library I already have a cursor already set up. And cursor is really easy. I want to delete the symbol it makes, but keep the cursor thing. Go to properties, change the linkage settings so that it fits right. Lawless, uh, lossless, loss moving. Go ahead and drag this on here. Convert this to a movie clip. I'm gonna call this cursor, and hit OK. And that's really, really, really big. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down. There we go. Down on the first frame. I keep hitting F9 with pauses my movie. I'm gonna hit actions, and then I'm gonna go just anywhere really. Start drag cursor and underscore MC. That's what I'm gonna call it. And true. Now I, have to, now I have to name the instance of this cursor movie clip to cursor MC. Hit save. Hit test. We should have a cursor that follows us around. There we go, and we're good. We can go ahead and publish this and bring it onto Unreal. Um, next video is the Unreal side of things.